How is everybody doing? As we know, Borderlands franchise has so many different Easter eggs in it, as well as little secret, smaller hidden nods to different games, movies, pop culture, whatever it may be. Now, there aren't too many bigger Easter eggs for Borderlands 2. There's a lot of smaller nods that I could go over, but in today's video, we're going to go over some of my favorite Easter eggs for Borderlands 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like on it, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. For our first Easter egg, and this one is a simple one, this is going to be the Arid Badlands Nexus. This is where you're going to spawn. You're just going to make your way to the central part of the map into this little town. This is the entrance to the town, as you guys can see right here. When you make your way in, just make a little left right here. You're going to get onto this mailbox. From there, you're going to get onto this tent or this building here. You're going to find a hidden collab trap right here. You're also going to get hay over here, a five badass rank upgrade. It's just a simple nod to collab track. It's just a simple nod to clap track you it's just a simple nod to clap trap you're also going to get a red chest right here our next couple easter eggs are going to be in caustic caverns if you make your way all the way to the northernmost part of the map right side of these railroad tracks if you make your way on up here you're going to see them right here here's the railroad tracks i'll show you railroad tracks are right there so you're going to cross your way here and you're going to make your way over here this is going to be a great nod what does this look like guys some minecraft blocks here make our way in Ooh, these blocks here are going to give you ammo and money and then inside you're going to see yourself a creeper how you doing hello creeper hello money blocks boom you're gonna be able to get some skins minecraft skin Got the nice torch here and you can continue to make your way on through here oh my gosh once a badass creeper spawns take him out and he'll have the chance to drop two one of two of the weapons so right here i got the blockhead so let's swap this out you guys can see shoots minecraft fire There's even a chance of Uridium block spawning as well. Oh, here's a badass creeper. Please give us the longbow. As well as the original blockhead. Shotgun. Also try Minecraft as the red text. Loads a grenade when reloaded. As you guys can see, it shoots three beams of light. You also can get a sniper rifle called the longbow. That shoots cra uh, Minecraft arrows. This is one of the best Easter eggs, I think, that's in Borderlands 2. I think it's just amazing. There's so many Easter eggs in Borderlands 2, but this one's just awesome. Our next Easter egg is going to be in the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. As you guys know, this is where you're going to spawn on the map. You're going to want to make your way through the preserve till you get to this area on the map over here. In this little corner, this is where you're going to find the first part of this Easter egg. As you guys can see, you made your way over through here, and you have this bridge that'll get you down. You're going to want to make your way over here. So you find this little vine right here and right behind the vine, you're going to find an echo device. Hug's little bitty head. I miss my mommy and also my torso. You're going to pick that up. Once you collect the first teddy bear, which is right there behind that vine, you're going to make your way this way. We're going to make our way on over here, go up these rocks. This is for the red chest. You can pop it with if you want to. You're going to make your way on up here. And right here on these leaves, you're going to see another one pop up. I need my head so I can watch my mommy arrive. Once you've collected that piece, you're going to make your way over to here. As you can see, a holographic teddy bear has spawned. We're going to make our way. You can't get up there if you jump onto that crate. You have to jump on this shock barrel here to make your way up. And you're going to place it. From there, you're going to wait. As you can see, the crane is moving. This thing takes a long time to actually get to its destination. So I'm going to speed this up.
And that is the entirety of the Easter egg. Hey, little buddy, you saw your mom. Our next Easter egg is also located in Caustic Caverns. As you guys see, you spawn here. If you make your way to the easternmost side of the map, you'll see that there's nothing else out here in terms of land masses because, as you know, Borderlands shows you where the land is. But if you look past this big crystal, you're going to see an island right here. If you have a big enough shield, you're going to be able to get to it. So let's see. If you have a big enough shield, you're going to be able to get to it. So let's see. Slowly but surely, we're going to make our way there. Once you're out here, How about that? you're going to notice this gentleman right here. Solitaire, he also has the vault symbol on his shield. And what do you guys know? What is this? This is a nod to Dark Souls. So many games have this. Fallout, Borderlands, whatever it may be. So many games have this. Watchdog, GTA, they always have a Dark Souls reference. Just a classic, classic Easter egg. <laughs> for our next easter egg this is going to be in the highlands what you want to do is you want to spawn at the hyperion bridge it's going to be right here this is where you're going to spawn from there you're going to want to use the catcher ride and make your way to the hyperion base which is right over here. From there, make your way to the top of the Hyperion base. As you can see, we come in from this direction over there. Just make your way all the way up until you get to the top over here. Once here, you're going to make your way to this area over here on the map. Once there, you're going to see this tent down here at the bottom of this cliff. As you guys can see, it's right here on the map. We're going to make our way down there. From there, we're going to look out onto this area. You're also going to get the achievement, what does it mean? I can't even capture it on my own camera. This is a nod to the Yosemite Bear YouTube video. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this from years ago. Full on double rainbow all the way across the sky. Our next Easter egg is in Sawtooth Cauldron. This is where you're going to spawn in. You're going to make your way to the left side of the map. And you're going to make your way right here to the edge. There's going to be five barrels that you're going to have to shoot in succession in a specific order. There's a barrel out here that you can't see. See how it's not there? If you get close enough, it'll eventually spawn in, but you can't actually stand over here or you're going to get that warning. So you kind of have to figure out exactly where it is before you set this up. I recommend you going up here to the top of this rock. If you see, we could see corrosive barrel. It's going to be like somewhere right there. What I'd like to do is line up right above this cactus. Kind of gives us a, a way to really gauge where it's going to be. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stand over here on the rocks. As you can see where I am, you're going to want to shoot the barrels in this order. It's going to be the shock one right here. Then you're going to go over here. You're going to shoot the incendiary one. Then you're going to shoot the corrosive one out here right above this cactus. Then you're going to shoot this one. And then you'll shoot this slag barrel.
And there it is, Tannis riding on a fish. Now, all of these easter eggs may be known because Borderlands 2 is so old by now. But these are just simple ones. And to be fair, there aren't that many easter eggs in Borderlands 2. In my opinion, there are a decent amount across the Borderlands franchise. But a lot of their easter eggs really are chalked up to be simple nods and simple little set pieces that pay homage to different characters, movies, pop culture, whatever it may be. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite easter egg for Borderlands 2. This video is simple, but I thought it was just interesting to make. And as always, guys. Guys, stay happy, stay hyped, and good luck looting.